Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install Ubuntu in VMware Workstation Pro 16 on a Windows 10 PC. It's a pretty quick setup and I'll provide everything you need as well as walk you through it all step by step. So let's get started. Okay, so before we get started, let's take a look at the system requirements that you're going to need to get this installed. So this installation is going to be done on a Windows 10 PC. So I have Windows 10 and I've installed VMware Workstation 16 Pro. You can use previous versions of Workstation Pro, like version 15, and the process will be fairly similar. If you haven't already installed Workstation Pro and you're looking to do that, you can check out this video and I'll walk you through those steps. Next, you'll need a CPU with four cores or more available. For RAM, four gigs is the minimum, but you're probably gonna to wanna to do eight. And for disk space, the minimum is 20 gigs. Now 20 gigs actually is fine, unless you're gonna be installing a lot of applications. And in that case, you're gonna to wanna to increase it a bit. For files, the only thing you're actually gonna need is the ISO file that you can download directly from the Ubuntu homepage. And I'll walk you through that as well. Everything we're doing will be linked in the description below, as well as a link to my homepage that'll walk you through all the steps, step-by-step step, if you prefer a blog format. If you find this video useful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'm trying my best to grow this channel as big as I possibly can. So to begin, what we're going to do is open up our browser and head over to the Ubuntu website. And what we're going to want to do is download the desktop option. This is the official URL for where you can download the ISO file. And in here, we're going to be selecting the download option over here. Click on that and it's gonna download the ISO file onto our computer. The ISO file is about 2.9 gigs in size. This might take a little bit of time to download depending on where you are. So what I'll do is I'll skip to the completion of the download. So the download's not complete, and uh, let me just open up the folder, and you can see I have it here in my downloads folder. It's just under three gigs. So I'll just close out of this and close out of this, and what I'm gonna open up now is my VMware Workstation Pro. Okay, so inside here, we're gonna create a new virtual machine. So I'm gonna click on the create new virtual machine option. So we're gonna select typical and then click on next. And we're gonna select the installer ISO file here because we just downloaded it. I'm gonna to go to my downloads folder and select it and then click on open. And then we can click on next. In here, if you have uh, personalized information that you wanna use for Ubuntu, you can go ahead and put it in here. I'll just type in a name and I'll use a username the same and then my password. And then once you have that inserted, you can click on next. And then you can leave the name as default or you can change it. Same with the location and then click on next. They have it as 20 gigs. You can leave it as is or you can increase it depending on your use and then click on next. And that's pretty much it. We have everything selected here. We can click on finish. And now it's ready to load up. So we'll click on OK. And now it's going to extract and install and configure the operating system for us. Virtually everything will be done automatically right now. So we can sit down, let this go on autopilot and I'll skip to the end of this step. Okay, it brings us back to the login screen. What we can do is just go ahead and click on your username and type in the password that you had entered during the setup phase. And now we're at the desktop. It's just gonna finish up customizing a few more features. What you can do here is either select an online account or just uh, skip it like I am right now. You have the, the options to do live patch or not. You can keep that up and running and set it up right now or just click on next and then click on next again. And then privacy options. This is really up to you and how you wanna use it. And then you can just click on next. It gives you the option to uh, install some applications right off the bat. If you select them, you can go ahead and open it up and start installing it. Otherwise you can click on done and we're at the desktop of Ubuntu. What will typically happen is a software updater will come up and it'll ask you to do uh, some updates for the operating system itself. You can either select install now or remind me later. It'll prompt you again at a later time, but that's it. We're up and running with Ubuntu on VMware on a Windows 10 PC. And this is definitely one of the easier installations to do for virtual systems in general, because everything is actually done for you. Just doing a little bit of customizing, clicking on next, and then it does pretty much everything in the background. So if you have any questions, you can go ahead and put them in the comments below. 
And if you're looking for any files or anything related to doing this installation, I'm going to put a link to my blog in the description as well. So you can get everything that you need right there. If you have any questions, you can also go to our forum, which is forum.geekwire.com and post any questions there. The community is great and a lot of people are eager to help. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're looking for installations of other operating systems on VMware or VirtualBox or Hyper-V or anything virtual, we're doing it all here on GeekWire Guides. Please subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.